Over the past few days, News First exposed that Sri Lanka's national carrier, Sri Lankan Airlines, has failed to return an Airbus A320 aircraft to an Indian company, Air Indigo Airline. News First sought further clarification from Sri Lankan Airlines today for the delay, which has caused a massive loss to the country. As of yesterday, the cost for the rental of this aircraft had reached a total of 768,000 US dollars or 119 million rupees, which represents 12,000 US dollars for each day the aircraft is not returned to the leasehold. Today increases the amount owed to 780,000 US dollars, which is a staggering 120.9 million rupees. When inquired by News First yesterday, Sri Lankan Airlines said two lateral cockpit window panel frames of the aircraft were required to be replaced due to metal fatigue. The airline's statement mentioned two options for the repair work. One, outsource to a working party from Airbus at an approximate cost of US dollars 1.7 million. Two, to carry out the repair in-house at a cost of US dollars 500,000. The airline said it chose the second option as it was a saving. However, the penalty payment now at 780,000 US dollars, option two has more than doubled to 1.28 million dollars. Yesterday, Sri Lankan informed News First that the Airbus was sent to a company called GMF Aero Asia, based in Indonesia, for a complete paint job of the full aircraft. When inquired today for more information on its current whereabouts, Sri Lankan Airlines said the aircraft was sent to Indonesia on the 16th of April and was returned on the 19th of May. When questioned why the aircraft is still in Sri Lanka and has not been returned to the leasehold, the airline responded. The major repair that was performed under Airbus supervision needs more repair work and that this will delay the output by several days. It added that the aircraft would be returned to the leasehold within the next 14 days, as soon as Airbus confirms the repair work is a success. This additional 14 days will cost a further 168,000 US dollars, which now adds up to 1.448 million US dollars. According to Sri Lankan Airlines, the cost for GMF to perform the paint job on the aircraft was approximately 75,000 US dollars. However, due to the delay and paint quality, the airline has withheld part of the payment and has started a warranty claim. Nevertheless, the figure now stands at 1.523 million US dollars, a mammoth payment exceeding 236 million rupees. Who is responsible for this colossal cost to be borne by the public? Does this not call for an internal audit?